Hi, my name is Jerry Neese. I'm an owner of Neese Farms and Custom Pumping, and I am a hydro biomass application engineer. I spread manure. When a farmer first contacts me, I will go down to his place and look at his uh, farm, building setup, fields. We'll take a sample the first time, we'll send it in so that for the next year, we know what to do to get the proper amount of manure to do the job for growing a good crop. We come in the site, when I get there, I go around with the farmer, he shows me the fields, uh, tiles leading to the ditches, uh, any kind of obstructions in the field, broke washouts, tiles sticking out of the field, French drains, and then we set up the field accordingly. We mix this all up, and then when we go to pumping, it makes a more consistent flow, more even far, as far as the nutrient value is for the manure. Also, towards the last end, it makes it so it's not so thick so we can pump it. When we get ready to set hose, we gotta stay back so far. We have buildings we set out. We set cones around buildings, wells, to protect everybody in their environment. We do not want at any cost to uh, let that get into the water at all. I have a zero tolerance for manure in ditches. When we get done agitating in the hole that we're gonna pump out with the pump, we move the agitator to a different location in the building. And then at that point, we set our pump into the hole for the pump out procedure. Uh, we hook up, make all of our connections, um, and we're ready to go within an hour usually of pulling in. When we apply it by drag line method, it's incorporated into the ground, into the root zone for the next year's crop. That way the crops can utilize the most value of the fertilizer value in the manure. We try to be neighbor friendly. It keeps the smell down 90% of what it would be if it was laid on top. Usually within a day, you cannot smell it. I do what I do to try to make it most environmentally correct because Ohio is my home too.